So one week from now, I've scheduled a Panama match with the world champion, which means I've got exactly seven days to come up with a plan to try and beat him. This should be fun. So, Pano is a game played by two people one on one, and the goal of the game is to nutmeg your opponent. A match is three minutes long, and whoever scores the most goals at the end of the three minutes is the winner. Unless you pan or nutmeg your opponent, then the game ends instantly and you win in style. Now, let's rewind back a few years when I entered a Pano tournament for myself and got knocked out in the first round. The winner of the tournament was Jack Downer, and he's since gone on to win international tournaments and become a world champion. So, going out in the first round, I never got a chance to play Jack that day, but I wanted to know if I'd even stand a chance. So, I'm going to be spending the next seven days straight training Panna to do whatever I can to hopefully nutmeg the world champion. If Kieran does beat me, I will have to happily retire from Panna um, forever. So day one of training to play the world champion and today is all about just getting my touch back, getting used to playing Panna because last time we played, yeah, it didn't really go so well. Calling it now, imagine if I get him with one of these. Oh, no. Through the legs, game's over. So, after day one of training, it was clear that I had a lot of work to do. Okay, so day two, I've got Ewan with me to practice together. Day two was just all about playing against an opponent. Ah. Woo! <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this, mate. You know if it's possible? There's a small chance, mate. Yeah, you might get lucky. So in this session, I got zero panners and got nutmeg three times. Oh. <laughs> Roasted man, just absolutely destroyed. With Ewan's words of encouragement echoing inside my head, I thought it was probably best to practice the start to get literally any advantage I could. It starts with the ball standing back to back, and on the shout of go, play begins. One. Oh. One. One. So, to start today off, I wanted to do some player analysis on Jack, and hopefully, it will give us an edge come the final game. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at his. Best Panna compilation, let's see what we got here. Flipping out, his feet are just so quick. I forgot just how good he was to be fair. Oh man. Okay, so Jack has made a video called How to Panna Like Street Panna. That's perfect. After spending the next hour watching some of his tutorials and looking for anything about his game that I could potentially exploit, I headed out for some solo practice on day three. Okay, today is all about working on defence. So, you and you're gonna have the ball, I'm just gonna keep trying to not get pan advice and take it off. After studying some Panna matches online, I realised that defending in football and Panna are two completely different things. For example, in Panna, you've got to stand very side on with your feet close together, and sometimes the back foot's even in the air a little bit. And if you dive in for the ball, you've got to make sure you keep your feet pretty close together. But I spent day four fully focused on defence and the art of not getting nutmeg. Oh dear. Right, so day five, and as you can see, it's raining. It's been raining quite a lot, but we're gonna have to train anyway because I can't guarantee the weather when we play Jack, so let's just get to it. I was born in the city, I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life when it's complex. I found love in its center. If I can live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the my best friends and I want to thank every break I want to thank every entrance to every building that I step all right that's day five done and I definitely am feeling an improvement from the start of the week 
Like those tight pictures. I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall. I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to group off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want. Keep growing. Well, day five, I was really getting into Panda and feeling my close control definitely improving. So I'm headed back out for another set. Lost. Don't think I'll ever truly pay back while I was lucky to get just by walking through the city. No, I'm a small part of this. Six was the final practice match, so I decided to play you in again to see if I'd improved over the week. Oh. 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 So a few moves I can use to get the panner. This is one of them. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. Through the legs. Like that. But I feel like it'd be smart on that, so we have to try something a bit more techy. So this one, you try and kick the ball like from under my foot. So you try and kick the ball like that. That's a good one, that, I think. So like, you can't see the ball. It's like that, and then it's like that when you're trying to step in. That's a good one I can use. So it's like, like that. So you faint the over hit. It's like, all right. It's going to take the perfect moment for it to happen, but it is possible. Oh! Oh, I nearly got caught there. So I was really happy with how that last training game went and it gave me the confidence that the training I've been doing had made me better, even oh. if just by a small bit. All right, best of luck for tomorrow. Good work. <laughs> I'm going to need it, mate. So, I've already done a training session today with Ewan, but I was just watching some clips of Jack on YouTube doing Panna and it made me really want to get out here again. <laughs> Okay, now tomorrow, we head to London. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Good. You're ready, huh? I'm ready, man. <laughs> I'm excited to see what you've got. Seven days versus eight years, man. Yeah, bro. I've got a couple more days in the locker, but I think you're gonna bring the skills, bro. Big upsets happening, mate. <laughs> No upsets happening. Oh. There's a panic called the goat panic here. I don't know if you know about it. But maybe you'll get to know. So obviously I agreed to do this because I'm excited to see how good Kieran can get in seven days. I think it's an exciting challenge. But I think Kieran has no chance of beating me. <laughs> Alright, so just setting the pitch up now. We've got to make sure it's all, it's all nice and clean. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Why don't you just cancel on you right now, boys? <laughs> Seven days was enough. All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two. One, go. So here we are for the final Panama match versus the world champion. As you can see, Jack won the kickoff there, which was something I was working on. Didn't really work out. But here, I'll show a bit of nice footwork actually. Um, not too bad, went for the panna, went for the early panna within 30 seconds. Didn't happen, obviously. So now, this is a bit of a theme throughout this final match. A lot of defending by me, good tackle there. Literally, I'm just trying to not get panna in the first minute, so it's not super embarrassing. Try and hang on as long as I can. Here we are. Jack's feet are just so quick, it's hard to keep up with what he's doing. So close to getting a panner there in the first minute. So I've nearly made out the first minute without getting pannered, which so far is a bonus. I'm just trying to keep off, make sure he didn't get the early panner, and hopefully I can get lucky later on in the game. Absolutely terrible by me there, just messing up and losing the ball. Not ideal. Jack's back on again. That was a nice skill. Fell for the bait. Oh, that, that was close. That was so close to getting panned there. A big difference is when I get on the ball, I don't really know what to do. I forget all the skills I've learned over the past week. Whereas for Jack, it's just second nature, moving the ball out. The second your legs even slightly move, the ball's through. So we've got the ball back and some quite nice footwork here actually to keep it away from him. Keep it back in, nice tight touches, absolute shambles, hitting the goal. 
camera's fallen down. So back on the ball and I'm showing a bit of nice footwork here. Just trying to keep the ball away and turn him. Love it. Oh, oh dear, that was shocking. That's what happened far too much. I'm letting the ball go away from him. But once again, showing some nice footwork. Lovely little turnaround. Should have just gone for the goal there. I would have been one nil up. Happy days. And then I just ended up giving it away back to Jack. So flicks the ball over my head. Far too easy there. Lovely tight footwork. And the thing is, Jack was not interested in goals at all. He was going straight for the pan, and that's all he wanted. He wouldn't be happy to win on goals, which, you know, is fair enough. He's a pro player. He wants to finish in style. Here, I'm just losing the ball far too much. The 20 seconds left in the game, and I'm getting tired now. My fitness is going. Losing the ball like that. Can't be doing that. Giving Jack the ball in the last 15 seconds. Tight footwork. He needs the panner to win and not retire. And... He's back now, he knows what he wants there. He's seen the panels available when he does that move. Three, two, one. What's he got? Panna in the last oh. two seconds of the game. If I'd have just held on for two more seconds, right we end. would have been fine. How long do we have left? A couple of seconds, mate. <laughs> A couple of seconds. <laughs> oh, Almost man. survived, bro. <laughs> well played, bro. Fair play. Hey, you improved, though. It was all right. I feel like I was doing a lot of defending, you were doing a lot of attacking. <laughs> Hey, that was good though. Good challenge. Fair play. I mean, it's probably a bit better than if I came with no practice whatsoever. You, you held the ball better, and I think you were you were aware of the panna techniques. So you, you had the he had the awareness, which if you hadn't practiced, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have got. Thing is, it's a bit silly thinking I was actually going to beat you. Know what I mean, but it's, <laughs> to put up a close a close contest. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Is the best you could hope for it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, you did good, bro. Very good. Legend, man. <laughs> that, that was good.